channel i appreciate you guys so much i hope your new year is is starting off with a shebang shebang hooray so today i'm going to be making some collard greens and some cabbage mix y'all with some smoked turkey this is an easy delicious recipe i'm going to be using my insignia pot today and i want to show you all this quick um easy meal you know we all believe in if you're eating greens or some black eyed peas it helps bring in um good luck or blessings for the new year so let me go ahead and get into the ingredients i'm going to be uh, using today to make this delicious uh collard greens with cabbage mix i don't know if y'all have ever tasted collard greens and cabbage mixed together y'all i'm telling y'all it is the bomb diggy and again i'm going to be using some smoked turkey wings with it so we're going to be using uh, i'm gonna fry up some bacon some cabbage and we're going to cut this up i'm going to be using some glory collard greens in a bag I'm going to be using a variety of sweet peppers. I'm going to be using some diced yellow onions, some yellow onions. I'm going to be using some minced garlic. I'm going to be using some smoked turkey wings. I'm going to be using my granddaddy's favorite accent we're going to use some chicken broth we're going to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar we're going to use some crushed red pepper flakes we're going to use some zatarin's creole some tony's creole some slap your mama some ground black pepper, some chicken bouillon. In case we don't have enough chicken broth, we're gonna use some chicken bouillon in addition to that. Also gonna use a little bit of sugar. The great thing about Glory uh, collard greens in a bag is they're already cut up. So this is how they look. But we're gonna wash these. We wanna wash these greens and this cabbage really good. These are the sweet peppers cut up. Now we're gonna take this bacon and we're gonna fry it up. While our bacon is frying, I'm gonna go ahead and make up a little bit of extra bouillon just in case I don't have enough chicken broth and stir. And you have chicken broth. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to start seasoning our greens and our cabbage with some accent. And season to your taste. We're going to take some slap your mama. Take some 
some Tony's Creole. And again, these CZs can be purchased low in sodium. I know that for the new year people or in anybody in general who is worried about their health, low in sodium is the best. Xanarin's Creole. Some crushed red pepper flakes. Some ground black pepper. And we're going to season this again once it's in the insignia pot. We're going to take some minced garlic. And these sweet peppers really give it some nice flavor. diced yellow onions and we're also going to put it in here we're going to take the insignia pot and we're going to cook that on meat and poultry in a minute our bacon is done We're gonna take this bacon grease and this bacon and we're gonna flavor our cabbage in our. So this is a bag of uh, collard greens and one head of uh, large cabbage, green cabbage. And now we're going to, since this is already seasoned up, we're gonna also season it up again once it's in the insignia pot. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our smoked turkey wings. And this is about a pound, a little bit over a pound, almost two pounds. We're gonna take these two big turkey wings and we're gonna put them in the bottom of our insignia pot. We'll start off with one or two and we'll leave that. We're gonna go ahead, since these cook down, we're gonna go ahead and start adding these to the pot. Add a little bit more seasoning in there. Again, season to your taste. Some more garlic. Crushed pepper. Let's see if we can get all of this added into here, into this insignia pot. We're gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here. A little bit of the sugar. Sugar. Take some of this baking grease. We're gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Maybe a little bit of that bouillon. We're gonna set this on meat and stew. We're gonna cook this on 35 minutes. 
and hit start. We wanna make sure this is on sealing our gauge and not on venting. We want it to be on sealing so that it reaches the proper temperature and it cooks thoroughly. So we'll be back. I hope you all are uh, enjoying this. If you haven't already hit this like and subscribe button, please hit it. I would love for you guys to join me every week. I hope you're having a blessed new year. And again, this is a delicious, delicious recipe. Collard greens and cabbage and smoked turkey wings, y'all. This is a great meal to start off the new year. Hey, so stick around and tune in and I'll show you when this recipe is done. I think some cornbread sounds delicious with this. What do you guys think? I'm gonna make some cornbread really quick. All right, you guys, the countdown countdown. We have about eight minutes left before these collard greens and cabbage and smoked turkey is done in my pressure cooker, my insignia pot. All right, so my insignia pot stopped, which was the pressure cooker. We're gonna go ahead and release the, um, the pressure. And we're gonna turn it on venting. And let that release before we open up the insignia pot. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and open up our pressure cooker and see how our delicious greens have cooked down, our greens and cabbage. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what they look like. Don't it look delicious, y'all? This is that cabbage and collard greens. Collard greens and cabbage mixed with some bacon and some smoked turkey, y'all. And that smoked turkey just falls right off the bone as you can see, gives it a lot yeah, of flavor. Really nicely. Now we're gonna go ahead and plate up this food and taste it. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and plate up some of this, this cabbage and collard greens mix with some smoked turkey and some bacon. It looks absolutely delicious and it smells so good. So, so good. Now we're gonna take some of the cornbread that I just made. I like some to go over my uh, cornbread if you want. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? Delicious. Let's taste it. Mmm. I love to eat it like that too. Take some of this cornbread. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Absolutely delicious. If you guys haven't already hit that like and that subscribe, please hit it now. I wish you guys a happy, happy, blessed, and prosperous, and healthy, and safe new year. And please come back and visit me weekly. I'll be posting weekly. And please like and comment and share my page with others that you know will appreciate this channel. Again, this is a cooking and lifestyle channel. I share all the things that I love doing. I am so, so happy that you tuned in and stopped by and visited me today. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a blessed week.
Have a blessed year. Bye. Thank you.